Hey, I'm Dr. Greg, and if you've been wondering if you or your kid has scoliosis, this is gonna be the video to you, for you. Uh, scoliosis is a condition of lateral bending of the spine that happens typically in adolescents between ages 10 and 15. It happens to about 3% of children, and the way that you wind up tracking this is by doing an at-home screening test. If you're wondering how to do this, check out the video we created on it. It gives you great steps and is easy to follow on what to wind up tracking for it. Now, who who does this typically wind up affecting to know, is this going to be my daughter or my son and should I be thinking or worrying about them? So adolescent scoliosis typically winds up affecting females, but I'll share with you, we've run into several males who wind up having it. It typically winds up affecting someone who has a slender status or small or thin, would be considered thin. They're typically long and tall. Um, this typically winds up occurring because as the age and they go, people go through a growth spurt, if there winds up being a very tall, thin uh, wire, it can wind up easily bending to the side. Now, typically we have curves when we look at the body from the side that help to provide strength and stability. But when we're going through a growth spurt, particularly the one at age between ages 10 and 15, we wind up growing a lot and it flattens out that curve. As that curve flattens, it can collapse to the side. If it starts to collapse and you grow and it's not recognized, the scoliosis or bend in your spine winds up accelerating due to some properties of bone that allow for the outside of the bone with less pressure to grow faster than the inside, and then you've got some spinal deformity. Finding this early on when it's in the range of 10 to 15 degrees and taking massive action on it, we've seen stop the progression for individuals. However, as we've also seen, when a watch and wait approach is taken or when inappropriate care winds up being delivered, these scoliosis can grow 20 to 30 degrees in as little as three months. Really important that you wind up getting to the right providers to, at the right time. So my orthopedic colleagues are really great at managing large and advanced scoliosis that wind up needing surgery. However, when a scoliosis or bend is between 10 to 30 degrees, they're not the expert at managing it. That's not within their scope of practice. What you need to do is find a corrective chiropractor, potentially even a physical therapist that specializes in methods that can be applied to a scoliosis. These methods come in the like of chiropractic biophysics, Sears exercises, or even the Scroth method. These have been shown to be very effective in managing smaller scoliosis, typically under 25 degrees. When it winds up getting beyond 25 degrees, we need to bring in some more of the heavy guns and combine that with the exercise, and it typically looks like a hard brace. If you're wondering what a hard brace would look like or if your child has got scoliosis, really important, check out our video on how to assess if they do or they don't. If you're not sure, reach out to a corrective chiropractor to determine what's going on and the best next course of action for you or your child. Once again, if you've got questions, feel free to write them down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Once again, my name is Dr. Greg Gerstin, and I want to thank you for letting me be a part of your health.